셋, 별. So good morning. I am Raga Sahasal and I'll be the representative of Group Two for today's experiment. Experiment number four: the naturing of proteins. So when we say the naturing, um, the structure of proteins are deformed because of the exposure to um, heat, uh, citric juices, and then alcohol. So it weakens the hydrogen bond. So then um, these proteins, they uh, coagulate and they become insoluble in water. So I'll be presenting our materials. So here is the six uh, plastic cups. Then here we have our white egg. Um, we have water, salt, baking soda, syringe, and then our calamansi juice, distilled water, and our alcohol. So the first step is we'll have to mix the egg yolks with a 30 ml of distilled water and mix them well. So we'll start. So for our first and second glass, we'll have to add 5 ml of um, albumin solution for this two. So we'll do that first. So next is for the first cup, we'll have to add um, 3 ml of distilled water. We're going to do that first. to add um, 10 ml of hot water on the first um, cup again. Then for our next uh, cup, for the second cup, we'll have to add um, 3 ml of distilled water. So we'll only add that. So we'll observe the result. So it's for the first cup, as we can see there are bubbles forming in the middle and the uh, color of the water is not that clear as i can see it is a little bit cloudy and it is when the denaturation occurs so the denaturation is only happening so for the second cup as we can see the uh, color of the water is a bit yellowish i can see bubbles forming on the sides of the bottle and as we can state, the, uh, there's a denaturation of proteins here. So for the um, uh, third cup, we'll have to add 5 ml of albumin solution again. And then we'll add a 2 ml of calamansi um, juice.
with the 5 ml of albumin solution and 2 ml of calamansi juice although it is not that um, seen here in the video I can see that there are white particles right there see that one um, the whitish part yep. so that's the result of um, mixing the two so for our fourth cup we'll have to add 5 ml of albumin solution and then um, a pinch of baking soda solution with a pinch of baking soda as we can see the baking soda dissolve and as we can conclude uh, there's a denaturation of baking soda here in cup 4 so for our fifth cup we'll have to add um, 5 ml of albumin solution and then 3 ml of alcohol solution with 3 ml of 70% ethyl alcohol as we can see the uh, appearance is more whitish than the uh, third cup and it seems a little more cloudy than the first cup so <laughs> it looks like mm, labo So for our 6th cup, we'll have to add 5 ml of albumin solution again, but with a pinch of salt. Here is the result, a uh, 5 ml albumin solution with a pinch of salt. So as I've observed, um, I can see, there, there, I can see small whitish particle. I think the salt did not entirely dissolve, unlike the um, baking soda here. As you can see, it is clear like here on the sixth part it is the um, color is also a bit whitish
So as you can see, we have here the data for the experiment number 4 for the denaturation of protein. So in this experiment, we use the samples for the glass 1, glass 2, glass 3, glass 4, glass 5, and also for the glass 6. So in this activity also, we have the observation that need to be done. So with the glass 1, um, with the use of distilled water, there is a denaturation of protein. And this denaturation is negative. Meanwhile, in the glass 2, with the use of hot water, denaturation also occurs. And this denaturation is positive. In the glass 3, with the use of acids, small white particles occur. And this denaturation is positive. Meanwhile, in the glass 4, sodium bicarbonate or with NHCO3, denaturation also occurs. And this denaturation is positive. Meanwhile, in the glass 5, with the use of alcohol, more whites form and the denaturation is positive. And in the glass 6, with the use of salts, smaller white particle occurs and this denaturation is also positive. Prior to cleaning an object, especially equipment and materials used for healthcare facilities, it is important for sterilization and disinfection to occur in order to eradicate all pathogenic microorganisms. Due to the chance of acquiring and transmitting infection, sterilization and disinfection are essential components of infection control. Hence, healthcare providers were equipped with enough knowledge and techniques to prevent the spread of these pathogens. These methods are performed in every hospital and before performing various surgical procedures which successfully decrease the number of cross-contaminations and transmissions of infectious organisms. Basically, sterilization involves heat to sterilize objects. When heat or UV radiation comes into contact with pathogens, it provides kinetic energy to the bacteria, causing its atoms to vibrate rapidly breaking the weak hydrogen bonding and dispersion forces which dramatically reduces and kills microorganisms. Similarly, using alcohol as disinfectant has the ability of disrupting the intramolecular hydrogen bonding throughout the bacteria. In addition, microorganisms cannot survive or live in extreme temperatures, like boiling water, although the cooling effect of alcohol only hinders the rapid growth of these microorganisms. Number 2. Explain why egg whites and milk are used as antidotes for heavy metal poisoning. Egg whites and milk contain proteins and other significant nutrients. The proteins from the said substances can readily combine with metal ions to form insoluble solids. Thus, a serving of 4 egg whites can give you 14 grams of protein, whereas 1 cup of low-fat milk has roughly 8 grams. Due to their high protein concentration, they are considered as antidotes for heavy metal poisoning. Heavy metals like silver, lead, and mercury denature proteins by binding the free carboxylate anions of the SH groups of cysteine with a metal, prompting it to precipitate. Heavy metal salts usually contain mercury cation, lead 2 ion, silver cation, thallium ion and cadmium ion and because salts are ionic they disrupt salt bridges in proteins ionic bonds and disulfide linkages causing proteins with sulfhydryl groups or negative sh to bind and drop heavy metal ions which triggers the swallowed poison to be expelled or vomited guide question number three what is protein denaturation Denaturation entails the disintegration of weak linkages or bonds of a protein molecule, which mainly plays a significant role in a highly ordered structure in its native state. Protein becomes denaturated when its conventional structure gets deformed as some hydrogen bonds begin to weaken and eventually become broken. As these weak hydrogen bonds are exposed to high temperature of heat or acid, Due to that, those who have undergone the process of denaturation have a higher rate of entropy in its structure, allowing them to become more insoluble in substances. For our guide question number 4, what factors affect protein denaturation? First is the elevated temperature and exposure to heat. 
Second is extreme fluctuations in pH level and exposure to various acids and bases. Third is alterations in chemical and physical environment. Fourth is external stress on the protein, the solvents, and inorganic salts. And lastly, the stabilizing H bonds of protein. In this experiment, it shows that denaturation can happen in multiple factors. For proteins, it can be denatured in the form of heat, strong acids, and organic solvents. It was seen in the video by using hot water and calamansi juice. This also helps us determine if the proteins can be denatured in the same or different temperature. Moreover, Denaturation happens when weak hydrogen bonds break due to proteins exposure to heat, acid, or bases. The result is that the ordered structure of proteins becomes loose or random, thus making the protein to be insoluble. Denaturation also plays a role in our digestive system. For example, when we cook eggs, its protein denature and coagulate which makes it easier for the enzyme to break down and digest protein. Furthermore, when applying heat to sterilize a medical equipment can help to denature proteins present in the bacteria, thus killing it. 